Hello there, my lovely legionnaires. How are we doing today? I'm doing good. What up? Jorgen Blatt. Jorgen Blatt. Wait, what? That's my favorite. I'm very excited to tell you about my, my current hyperfixation. Holy shit, there's a Depp versus your documentary. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one one fixation at a time. Thank you. I have so many. <laughs> I have like uh, at least two. Yeah. Um, I I bought a special. I have hyperfixation at the moment. It's so stupid. Oh, Such yeah. thing, but go on. It's um, <laughs> it's Master Chef. Why Master Chef? Because it's cool! I like Gordon Ramsay. Understandable. Because Gordon Ramsay is so and much better when he's being nice and positive and cool and supporting than when he's just being told by producers to be mean because that gets better ratings. Master Chef is better. I. So, to be fair, I love Master Chef because he, he absolutely is like he's super kind and he's super supportive and he's really like you know, he you really see the, the best version of Gordon there. But also whenever they whenever they undercook something, he just fucking throws the food around and that's hysterical. My uh, <laughs> the actual best part of Master Chef, other than the entire season with Christine, um Which is, season I need to watch uh, she was the blind contestant. I haven't watched that far yet. I've only watched one. Uh, I have. What? <laughs> I, I I don't know what season I'm on because the the uh, there's no streaming services here that do all of Master Chef. The only oh. the only uh, Master Chef series that are uh, that I have access to, at least the USA version, uh, is season twelve and season season thirteen. I if I'll find a way, I'll get you. I think it's season. Four four or five um yeah no she's like the, the best contestant that they've ever had on any of these shows ever oh, yeah. Yeah. really cool um but you know it's also really good the best what? parts of master chef are when joe is like oh i'm a food snob oh you shouldn't put garlic bread in your food because then it's not bougie enough and oh. then gordon's like joe i need you to stop sniffing your own farts <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I literally remember that the exact thing because I uh, I lived through. Okay, I I still got into Master Chef because one of my favorite chefs on YouTube, um, Nick Di uh, Di Giovanni, um, he was on Master Chef season ten, um, and he posted a video like a month ago that it's like four and a half hours long and it's just him going through the entirety of season ten and like making commentary on it. Um, and I was like, this, this fucking looks, like, this looks awesome. This show looks awesome. I'm just gonna watch it. Uh, so I have, and I, it's also convenient that I'm, uh, I'm gonna join an OCT soon, uh, that's coming out soon called Chop to the Top 3. And it's about cooking, so I've been taking notes. <laughs> oh, when also. I'm gonna make a kitchen show where it teaches me how to make boy dinner. You're so <laughs> right. Crafty, I've, I don't. I had boy dinner today. Wait, I had a so a... I had a bit right. I somebody said this, and I agree with it. I want to. I want to have a cooking show for autistic people, where you have to, uh, you have to like, you have to cook to avoid certain like textures, and you have to. Yeah. And you have to find ways to, like, do a spin on a safe food that makes it still, like, safe. Oh, but you, you that shit's all- that shit. Doing that is, though, mm -hmm. it would have to be filmed and have to be, like, directed. Like, those fucking, like, products that are made for disabled people, but they have to market to regular people. Oh, yeah. Dude. It's, you know. it's literally- it's literally just, I did 90% of the dishes are just pasta dishes. You're so right. <laughs> I, I need, um, first of all, shut up. I didn't just finish my bowl of pasta. Blow me. Um, but I just made I, pasta. It was a self-read. 
I, I listen. I, I didn't. I also at no point yesterday did I make pasta with meat because I wanted it. Um, but <laughs> you I know try. what else we need? We need kosher Master Chef, but with only people who don't cook kosher, so that Gordon <laughs> can walk up. And so they're like, all right. So I'm gonna put. I'm, I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a beef stew, and uh, there's a. A bit of a, a puree in it, and you know, I, I just wanted to, to really cream up the uh, the the broth of it, so I put a little milk in there. Die! Me losing on the first, me losing it's, the first episode because I don't know what the fuck a coaster cooking is like. It, it's literally just Gordon just going, "That's not kosher, you donut." Nobody, <laughs> nobody's allowed to tell them what is and isn't kosher. They have to just either figure it to, out. They have to figure it out. Have you have to guess. To, you have to take notes every episode to be like, fuck, they got eliminated for this, so I can't use this. So they just don't use it at all, but it's, but it's they like- just slam down the fucking door in front of them instead of a cookbook. So like, no, I like the uh. idea of like, for example, like they make the beef stew with cream. And so they write down like, okay, so we can't use cream. So they don't, and they don't know that you can, you just can't mix them. Dude, you, well, you want to know the best part, Crafty? It's not even, um, Oh, you you have to slam down the Torah. No, it's you have to slam down the Torah and the Gomorrah and the Mishnah, which are basically just comment sections for the Torah. <laughs> where one guy is like, "Is this allowed? Can I do it if I do it like this?" And then you have three rabbis responding, where it's like, "No, because this is stated here, you can't do this with this combination of things because blah 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 this rule." That's it's it's actually I'm they're called commentaries. Damn. That's so wild. I can't well, rabbis uh, with the original commentators. Uh, I can. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> My oh god. Myers in, in uh, the robot. My favorite Gordon Ramsay game. Never. Oh god. Never mind. No. The um, only. I said, no, Lyo, the only word that came out clearly was never, never mind. mind. <laughs> no, I heard Gordon Ramsay. So I'm fucking sorry. funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of the hand. Stop licking batteries. Hi, I'm well, Ivy's look, owner. I wanted to say, I, no, I already said this when I commissioned it, but thank you so much when I commented on it. You're welcome. I liked it. Her design's pretty. She's cool. Dude, I, I did my best because her, her references were a little inconsistent about the shape of her hair, so I, so I had to cheat. Uh, we made sure. That. Let's go. Yeah, it's not Lyra's fault. He is coming to us from a rotary phone. It's Which character dude. was Ivy, by the way? Uh, it was one of on. it was one of the ones I did for our fight. No, I figured that. Oh that's, God, that's what I, I can figured. try. Okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. Dang. Oh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to say, um, so chat, Dang. so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, what, Star what, what so Star Wars fans, how, how are we doing this on the like, Wednesday? What are we arguing about now? That's, we're not arguing I about, I hate women. <laughs> That's, look, does this mean I have to wait to watch Accolade? Am I, is it going to hurt me? How are, how oh, yeah, are we, uh, how are we doing I, this? I don't want, I don't want, I don't, I, I've had enough. Don't hurt you in the good way. I've had enough don't fiction. Hurt you in the good way. Look, I'm just saying, I've had enough fictional media hurt me this week. I don't need it again. I, Fucking, I, I, I'm, listen, the only thing I have to say is to, uh, is Indara stocks are high and all of you are wrong and stupid. That, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a week because I, 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 I can't let fiction hurt me twice in a- that hard twice in a week, okay? I'm not taking the risk. I'm, I can't I'm, fucking- yeah, let, me, let, me put, let me put it this way. If, if you recently watched Jujutsu Kaisen and you caught up with Jujutsu Kaisen, don't follow it up with Acolyte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, Ellie was DMing me, by the way, like, wow, haha, <laughs> Danica's fucking stupid. This is funny. <laughs> good job. Excellent. Very good, very good. Yeah. No, no, I, no. I, okay. I, I don't know how well Shaq said it sounds like Sunny. Sounds like you. That's like me. <laughs> I, I challenge. No, I'm, well, I'm I'm still in the middle of my Scottish redeem, so. Let's do it after then. 
Well, I don't, uh, I don't know why fuck he sounds like, Sunny. I'm doing my best. Just try. Just try. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm telling no. you, like, I can't even try. I don't know what he sounds like. I wouldn't even have Honestly. It's okay. I, the fellow British person, will explain it is diet Irish. How fucking okay, Irish? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, Listen, actually, hold on, hold on. As hold a, on. No, no as, wait. As the Welsh person, I'm here to say tell you, apparently, according to people who've heard it for the first time, apparently it's diet Australian because for a long time, uh, people thought that I was mainly malware. I don't, I, I'm sorry. Doug, I don't, Doug, I don't even have like a vague. I have to pay, please pick something else. I don't, uh. Wait, British. what? What's British? the accent? <laughs> Just do British. Okay, I can do that. Okay, Google. You Northern might set a timer for two minutes. Northern and Southern. You might accidentally. You might accidentally end up Welsh. I Northern or posh. Northern or posh. I'm not entirely sure. What? What? It's my fucking thing, and I say that you should do uh like uh oh my god, do a Cockney. Oh shit. Yeah. Covent Garden. Realness. Oh, fuck. Give us the cock. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give us some Eliza Doolittle re realness. A nice Eliza British Doolittle. cock. Can... Think Kingsman. Think Kingsman. Oh, God. No, that's not what fucking Covent Garden. Covent Garden cocky accent is the complete op opposite. You're oh, thinking of, of read. You're thinking of posh. You're thinking of like posh English. Or whatever it's called. Read. Exit. Yeah, yeah, ex 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 posh. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not from England. I don't, I don't I'm I'm from the US of A. I can tell. I know. <laughs> with love. With love. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. You can say it with hate. It's fine. <laughs> um, wait. Okay. A great example of a Cockney accent. Have you heard the? Did you watch Mary Poppins Returns? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm familiar with a Cockney accent. Yes. Yeah, the I'm, fucking. I'm familiar. I was about to say I'm f I'm familiar. I've just been. You just keep yelling at me, so I can't even try. <laughs> you are shocking. Like, minutes is all you guys. I know. You are. You're, I will say you are shockingly close to Welsh for that accent. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'll remember Just, that later. Yeah. What kind of posh sounding? Although it's, to be fair, South Wales and North Wales are very different in dialect. <laughs> Jesus. Well, oh, yeah, you told, you, North uh, American, you told about. Southern America is, so it is mm -hmm. also different as well, so, you know. I... I think it's Okay, funny. Google! Stop! I think it's really funny when when Dragon Ball characters, specifically, like, Namex and Saiyans, um, get, get their big form. Mm -hmm. And, like, in original Dragon Ball, Goku turns into a big monkey and all of his clothes explode because he's getting really big and he's a big monkey and that's what happens when you get really big while you're not wearing clothes or while you're wearing clothes that don't get really big with you and then we get characters with clothes who do get really big with them and it's exemplified in this way that I love so much by oh yeah no other clothes can't work no way tear right out hair tie that works <laughs> Yeah, hair sorry, tie. my hair tie still works when I'm in the fucking when I'm in Uzaru mode, but if I go this Super Saiyan, it turns off. That'd be a great. That'd be a great. That'd be a great advert for like this Frenchie. That'd yeah. be a great. If you go my oh, mode, it will not break. <laughs> tired of your hair ties constantly snapping when you when you tap into the powers of the mighty Ozaru. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your hair ties to not break when you go monkey mode? We got the product for you! <laughs> Introducing Super Scrunchy! <laughs> nah, here's how I'm imagining it. It's a fucking Claire yeah, dad. Like, yeah, we built- we make our ship for fucking bright- Isn't Claire's- survive anything. Oh yeah, so- Isn't- uh, Isn't Claire's that place where you go to get your lobotomy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, just checking, carry on. Work. <laughs> Just, just, ke just keep going. Carry on. They also offer uh, <laughs> discount top surgery. Fuck yeah. Do they? <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes. Is that fucking picture of the I got my top surgery at Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. They do. <laughs> <sighs>
Oh yeah, so Emma um Emma was talking Emma about know? Well Emma was talking about the fact that she finally got um she's finally getting like a proper OC for her commentaries. Oh nice. And I would I said, are you going and she said she specified that she wanted to do something that was in line with her uh her energy of always being in the hamster cage. So uh so I was like, are you going to become hamster? And she was like, I wasn't before, but I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I need That's... the energy of something of me in a hamster cage. What what can I do with that? Have you tried hamster? Oh my god. Oh no, not hamster. 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 Hello. Hamster. hamster. There's a difference. I forgot. Kia when I think Hamter, I think of those old Kia commercials. Hamter. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> those dancing hamster commercials. The hamster will have jorts, by the way. Very good. Very That's... good. Very good. I'm just picturing Phenomenal. I'm picturing like an only slightly anthropomorphized hamster. Like it's hamster proportion. It's like a Hamtaro character. Like it's standing on its it's just a hamster on its back feet. But like it is wearing uh jorts that are like way too big and like massive shoes the john cena the john cena type jorts oh i also i wanted to share um on another episode of heaton's crazy um go on this i love this show my so, favorite show uh i reorganized i reorganized the shelves a little bit because i've been just really anxious lately and i needed something to do with my time uh so i so the collection update. <laughs> this is this is all of it so far. Uh, this is this is all my manga. Nice, nice. Very nice. I'm so I'm so happy. I got it all. Yeah. I got it all to fit on one shelf. Yeah, for right good now, shit. this is all of it. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Is that Shugokara I spotted? Yeah. It's the whole yeah, series. Ellie. I've got all of it. Yes, it is my man. Handshake emoji. A lot of manga. Good job. Yeah! Some of them I need to, like... I need to finish. I want to complete my uh, Yu Yu Hakusho collection. I've been slowly finding the omnibus versions of Maid-sama. Truly are one of these days just gonna go full Philip and just have the Gaia library. I want to! I want to so bad! Yeah, I've said before, if I get my own house, I wanna have like uh the my office I want to just fill with my books. Hey uh, by the way, um crafting. Yes. Since I got you here and you mentioned common writer in my vicinity. Um <laughs> What do you think of what do you think about the design of Common Rider Beerus? Is that a oh, new Gav, one that's coming out? Gav, uh, mm, it's not. I'm so happen. glad I didn't have to say their name. You just when I called them Beerus, you knew which one I was talking about. Um, yeah. I I don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. I kind of. I'm also not hot on the theme. What, what do you mean? The theme? the theme is snacks. Yeah, the little I don't snack know, I, I don't know. I think yeah, it's rad. There's literally one that is a potato chip. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I think I'm dying. My brother in Christ. <laughs> no, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to play devil's advocate here for a minute. My brother in Christ, were you not the one who's been like, no, but you have to watch Gaim. No, but you'll love Gaim. Gaim is fucking all fruit. I was about yeah. to say, plus, um, I don't know why this design does nothing for you. I put it in the gnome. Like, this guy rules. Look at that. That guy looks cool. I, 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 I don't- I wanna- I, I'm gonna be so real with you, Crafty. I have a lot of respect for you. I don't get some of your opinion. Oh, also, uh, I had something I wanted to, to talk about a little bit here. Go on. So, uh, so I- for those of you who don't know, I'm a purveyor of like various types of horror media, especially like manga wise. Okay. I thought you were gonna say pervert. No. No, uh, oh, that's me. Uh, that we're not talking about that today. Um. 
So Wait like, so I sat down and I watched, I watched all of Magical Girl Raising Project and I read all of Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka. Gang, we need to have a conversation about the fucking absolute state of a uh, magical girl, but fucked up. Okay. Where is this going? This is weak shit, and I'm getting really tired of it. This fucking sucks. I'm so fucking irritated with this dumb bullshit. And, like, listen... I think Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka had, like, the most interesting shit to say of the genre so far. I was very interested in where it was going in regards to, like, how the world would militarize the idea of Magical Girls. Because um, they're all stronger than Goku. Yeah, because they're all incredible. again, because they're all incredibly powerful. I also like the way that they militarize the idea of, like, the parallel dimension where magic exists, you know? Which is so, like... Like, we're, we're using the, the fairy world- having, like, having UN liaisons to the fairy world was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um. What? Gang! Can we not with, like, can we cool it with the, the essay and the sexualization of these girls for, like, five fucking minutes, there. please? There it is. Cause, like, I was wondering when we were gonna- I'm gonna be so real. The minute you said, you said, you you got started on this topic, my brain went, "All right, when is this gonna become an essay conversation?" Like the most, it's the most infuriating part because, like, the rest of it's genuinely so well put together and so interesting. And then I'm like, God, can we not? Can we not do this? I'm I'm asking you so nicely if we could just not do this. Why must- why do you do this to me? Because, like, again, it's so good, and I genuinely want to be able to recommend it. And then- and then the tentacles happened. And the tentacles yeah. didn't- and the tentacles didn't fucking stop happening, and I hate it here. <laughs> That's eaten. The culture. Your yeah. fucking mother, the culture. I'll show you culture. <clears throat> If one motherfucker responds to me with culture, I'll start playing not like us again. I'll show you what the fucking culture is feeling. I hate this. That's <laughs> real culture, if you ask me. Like, I I can't I can't do this, goddammit! And then fucking I really liked a lot of what um Magical Girl Raising Project did in the broad scheme. There was no essay in that, thank fucking god. Um mm. And there's, like, one or two segments of the gore really being, like, satisfyingly fucked up. It just didn't have quite the punch I wanted it to. It dragged in some spots. I am- I will say, I really liked Magical Girl Raising Project in particular for having the fucking balls to specifically, um, uh, go with, like, social sabotage for stuff like this as opposed to like uh as opposed to just going out and out murder i'm a big fan of that because like the whole idea right is that it's more a direct perversion of the nature of magical girls being like it's with the power of my friends i can do anything but it's like yeah you're all of our main characters' friends, everyone who becomes friends with her dies, and like, a not fun, pleasant death. And it's all uh, about like, social sabotage, and how you can't trust one another, and like, making alliances only to betray them, and to kill them in the end, and I'm like, I like that! As like, a proper subversion of magical girl stakes. And, I, and here's the thing I'm learning, right? Uh, as I'm- I'm writing a video right now about like, Magical girl, but fucked up. And I think so far, the thing that I've learned is that the good ones, so like Spec Ops Asuka, um, Yuki Yuna is a hero, Magical Girl Raising Project, the good ones have, while they have their faults, they adhere to 
the overall ethos of magical girl shit in general. So, like, for example, even in all of these where these terrible things happen and all this social espionage occurs, faith in your friends, uh, love, hope, and justice do win in the end. And I think that that's really important, because if you don't, because if you lose sight of, like, what makes magical girl shit appealing in the first place, then it just becomes torture porn with a new coat of paint. It's cute torture porn. Yeah, and I think that's cur- and as somebody who's read that before, th th this isn't what this is for. Yeah, dude. Like, like, I've- I've read- I read all of Happy Sugar Life. Like, I- I'm here for- which also was fucking- Let me- okay. I talked about this before. Uh... Happy Sugar Life is bad. But it's not nearly as bad as everybody says it is. Because its core conceit is like, oh, this weird, like, pseudo-romantic relationship is happening to this fucking eight-year-old. Oh no! But, like, nothing happens. It's... It's the fucking... bad, but not for the reason you think. Yeah, like, it's... That kind of reminds me of the, the fucking, like, my wife was reincarnated as a grade schooler or some shit, and it's like... Yeah, no, it's just about him coping. <laughs> like, nothing bad happened. Yeah, it's very, like... It, like, bad horror things do happen, but, like, the core conceit that keeps you on edge the whole story, like, it becomes very clear after, like, f three or four chapters, he's not pulling that trigger. Chekhov's gun is not going off. Like, nothing that bad is. is going to happen to this child. And spoilers, it's nothing does. Jamming. Like, and like, listen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying like, this was mid because a child didn't get molested. I'm saying like, you can't, you can't edge me for 60 something, for 60 odd chapters before, because I'll just figure out you're not going to do it. Why did, do like, <laughs> like, I'm like, you're not going to do it. You're- you're not pulling the trigger. You can press the gun to my temple all you want, but I know there's no firing pin in this fucking thing. I'm not stupid. You're not gonna do this. You're not gonna go there. I know you're not. So, like, it kind of loses all of its tension, and then once you get past the shock of, like, oh, everyone wants to have, like, this pseudo-relationship with this child, once you get over the shock value of it, it's like, okay, and? and it becomes nothing. It's just, I'm here to make you uncomfortable with the idea of this kid getting harmed for 60 odd chapters. And again, like, Ray. that sucks and is unpleasant and like, you're... Turns out Heaton does not like being edged for this long. I don't. Like, <laughs> listen, it's like I said, I didn't want anything to happen to her, but like, it was the case of I, the fear drained out of me when I realized like, oh, Nothing is gonna happen. So it's like, okay, so if you're not gonna- anti -human. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> like... It's like, if you if all you're gonna do is sit here and make me uncomfortable for 60 chapters, then I'm gonna leave. Like, please stop putting this child in these pseudo-sexual situations if you're not gonna have the person who hurts them <laughs> get hurt. I don't care. And spoilers, they don't! And it ends weird and... Like, I don't know. Can you let put this back? It's either shit or get off the pot, exactly. You did not. Mm -hmm. yeah, right what if there. I want to get off the pot, but then as soon as I get off the pot, my, my stomach starts rumbling and telling me, no, you gotta get back on. And then I get back on and then nothing happens. And then I'm like, oh, well, I guess nothing's happening. And then I leave and then my stomach's like, no, you gotta get back on! You gotta go shit! <laughs> Gotta lock no, in. remember you're Jewish. <laughs> Shit's you're your pants. Home. Cause like, like I've, one of the things I've talked about this before is like, one of the things that I hate in horror is when they do that. It's like, okay, you can, you can totally get so much mileage out of like, ooh, 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 and then you do the thing. But like, you can't, you can't, like, let me put it to you like this. 
Uh, how many of you have seen Romeo and Juliet? Which one? Like the like the I mean, real I one. It. I mean, I the read it in ninth grade yeah. honors, and then we watched the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio '90s version. If you call Romeo and Juliet a oh. love story again in my presence, I'm gonna beat you to death. No. Well, yeah, you'd have to come Tragedy. over here and do it. It's oh. it's a tragedy. It's not a it's not a love story. It's a fucking tragedy. No, but they love each other. Uh... But like, but like, if how many of you are familiar with like, like the again the real one, like yeah, you know how uh near the end the spoilers for Romeo and Juliet, uh <laughs> how many like so at the end of uh at the end of the play, Romeo like takes he takes the poison or he 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 stabs himself she takes the poison yeah i didn't damn it he stabs himself and then he oh. goes on like a and then he goes on like a two-page monologue as he's dying and it it's like one of the things <laughs> that the play is famously made fun of for <laughs> and then everyone who's ever written a manga was like write that down right <laughs> <laughs> Other way around. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's been a minute. Um, so yeah, as he's being poisoned to death, he goes on his weird monologue for, like, ever. And it's one of the things that the, the play is famously uh, teased for. It's like, alright, Romeo, this is fucking... Got some real longevity in these, in these limbs of yours. I hate it when horror does that. Where they're like, alright, I have consumed the poison. Now we're going to go into a completely different direction for the next 45 minutes, and then eventually it'll take effect, but it'll take effect after you've lost any and all tension or fear in this moment. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's cool. Nice. And, and like you know that. what? I'm gonna be real. Modern, uh, modern horror manga does it a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, and then like, welcome, welcome. I thought you were gonna say, personally, I would just forget I was poisoned. I'm gonna be so real <laughs> with you. The sentence, spoilers for Ro Romeo and Juliet, might compete with Yaoi Sonic for my favorite thing ever uttered on one of these streams. <laughs> yeah, spoilers for Romeo and oh. Juliet. But fucking, like... Horror manga, modern horror manga especially, has, like, such a fucking problem with this. Where, like... Where they, they say something... And they're like, all right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, oh, and then they just don't. And then they, or they beat around the, I swear to God, if I had a nickel, my fucking, my biggest pet peeve uh, of, of anything ever with, when it came to fucking uh, a Magical Girl Raising Project was they do that constantly. There's, like, an action sequence, and then we cut away to a flashback or to, like, an insert about their, like, backstory. And I'm like, oh my god, you're ruining your own tension! Stop! It's their record of Ragnarokking it. But, like, the thing that I like about Record of Ragnarok... The reason that I don't have an issue with Record of Ragnarok doing it, where I do have an issue with stuff like that doing it, is because one of the great things about Record of Ragnarok is that it does it via chapter break. So, like, mm -hmm. when you're reading it all at once, it feels weird, but reading it week to week, it feels great. Because it doesn't feel like you're cutting into the middle of the action. When Unless you're... you're me, and you're a freak who binged the whole thing, and right. you're still like, yeah! Yeah, but, it, but that's what I'm saying, is because it isn't literally in the middle of the chapter, it's like, there's a cool moment, and then the chapter ends, and then the next chapter picks up, and there's a flashback. And it's like, oh, okay, so now we're getting some insight. It feels broken up by the natural flow of, like, chaptered manga, as opposed to, like, in the- Like, we are five minutes into this 25-minute episode. It is time for you- Shut up! Shut up, sit down! We're taking ten minutes to talk about this character's backstory. We're, we're doing something. Shut up! Shut up, sit down! No. And I'm like, alright, okay. And guess what? I feel like you fucking had, like, Hitchcock's 
description of, the, of a similar thing. There's a bomb under a cable. And it's just like, oh, but we're going to learn the backstory of how the bomb was made. Right. But like, hey, you want to know who does that a lot and what fucked it completely? The fucking record of Ragnarok anime! Oh, the fucking record of Ragnarok crap. anime does it all the time where it does it in the middle of an episode and I'm like, I hate this! I hate you! Stop! God. First of all, Crafty, you should not talk mean about Tadashi like that because I personally <laughs> think the poor man's rose needed to be explained in every way, shape, and form before we realized that it was just going to give the villains AIDS. <laughs> I thought it gave them cancer. It, it gives them death disease. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Death disease. To be fair, what is AIDS if not sex cancer? You're so right. That's I'm... You know what? <laughs> okay. I heard oh. your wife in your home go, No! You know what? You know what? Well, no, you, you know, know what? what? Let's 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 talk that about is, some some good news. Let's have some money. good news up in here. Did, that is did I name. already tell you yes. this year who did beat the allegations? Yes, you did. Um, no. but crap. Rin is. Oh crafty. my God, Rin is going to beat Crafty today. I need. I need, crafty, I need Crafty to know that 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 is now on the top five best being said in the heating stream now like that that entire exchange I, I don't know if you talked about it before i joined call but i have more good news uh star wars has now entered uh a, a roxas vanita situation and that's pretty pog oh nice you know. literally actually roxas and wait wait wait, wait, wait. Yeah. why wait do you, hold on real quick real quick real, hold on well, do you do you actually mean vanitas or are you yes no no no, yes. no, we actually no, mean Roxas right. and Vanita. No, I mean like, no, I mean like, uh, because like I'm not used to people mentioning those two together. So I'm wondering if you mean if you're actually meaning Roxas and Ventus. No. And are just saying Vanitas. No. Okay, then I just wanted to check. You have to understand. I think I I don't think I'm mixing up names. You're not. Okay, I know what you're quick, talking about, okay, and it's I'll true. Say, describe Vanitas' appearance to me. He looks like Sora, but dark hair. Uh, you're right. Okay, good. You got the yeah, right evil, guy. Evil looking Sora. Yeah. You got it right. Carry on. Okay. He's got a cool bike. And, um. Does he have a cool bike? Hold on. Doesn't he? Hold on. It's yeah. It's it's one of those things that's like a very. They're like, oh, it's I am slain. Like he yeah, had no shit. I have that an uncomfortable. Be a short. I just know it. If you clip it, oh, then you I will. I was about to say, yeah, you gotta clip these things, guys. You gotta clip them if you if want. If you want them to be shorts, you have to clip them because that's what I do. Like, I just comb through my shorts. Yeah. So, but uh, this is your reminder to actually clip the streams you watch. Anyway. Um, yeah, fuck it, Ben. Get caught up. It, shit will make much more sense. Just watch the episode. It's been out since last. I can't. Uh, I already. And I are watching. I've been watching it together, and our our, our schedules have desynced. We're gonna watch it tomorrow. I've also said. Or earlier, you weren't here for this. I'm not gonna start the accolade at least till next week because I don't need more fiction hurting me already. Um, also, luckily it finishes next week, so you'll be able to like binge the, all eight episodes. Uh, I will say, I will say, it's kind of a cool like roundabout thing that Star Wars has apparently entered a Roxas Vanita situation because so much of KH is influenced by Star Wars that it makes total sense for Star Wars to start taking influence from it. That makes so much. That's such a cool roundabout like that's such a cool like everything comes full circle kind of vibe you know i mean you love to see it B i mean bbs is quite literally just kh's version of episode three after all so fucking losing my mind in this in this essay i'll explain how tara and anakin are very similar characters oh god well they are they both can't act <laughs> hey, hey, you leave Tara. All, you leave Pookie Bear alone. Tara's fine. Don't fucking. Me, me, you will not fucking alone. You will not slander Hayden Christensen on my streams. Yeah, oh yeah, well, let's get on that. Both of them are Pookie Bear. You leave both of them alone, okay? I, you like that was all George. Chris, yeah. Uh, facial acting Hayden in Chris the prequels was good. Like, if you watch any of the stuff they've got him back for, like, he's allowed to actually be good. Yeah. Hayden and 
Actually, it's so weird now because I've been watching a bunch of Clone Wars. Uh, it's so weird now to hear Hayden Christensen's voice. It's such a. It is. It is such a tragedy that he's not going to be that he's not going to be Shadow in the third Sonic movie. It is absolutely when, uh, a tragedy. Oh God, James Arnold Taylor does such a good you know like impression of Obi Wan that I don't really notice it. Like it doesn't like it doesn't feel weird to me. Yeah. But the what's the name of the guy who plays Anakin? Uh, Matt L Lanter. Lanter. Yeah, he. I think is his name. But he doesn't sound anything like Hayden Christensen. And hot take, I love Hayden Christensen. I think he's a better Anakin. Yeah, I prefer Matt's performance personally as well. Hayden Christensen's great. Like he's a good actor. It's just I really like. I really like Matt's performance better. I mean, he was allowed to have a good performance. To be, to be fair. Anakin. Also, when both care- What? He was gonna blow up the ship! Side note, by the way, um... I still need to go through and watch both Clone Wars and Rebels to their completion. Um, you should. Because, uh... Oh, uh, they're good. Being- Becoming closer friends with Heaton, Brooke, and Justin reignited a few things in my head, one of them being the Star Wars virus. Um, yeah. Watch, well, I finished Rebels. It's the best Star Wars visual medium project. I agree. You should also a really awesome like new podcast that came out called Star Wars Rise of the... Uh, uh, the First Resistance. It's you a did really not... Podcast. You oh, did man. not forget the name of the podcast you're on! Um... <laughs> Uh, this is a, this is your reminder, I'm already listening to that, and it's the reason I designed a Star Wars fan character forever ago, so, um, oh, I'm ahead of you on that. This oh, yeah. If I had, if I had a dollar for every time he didn't, something he didn't was involved with inspired me to make a fan character for something, I'd, I'd have, I'd, I'd, I'd be two dollars richer. Favorite character, by Catch up, another episode came out yesterday. Shit! Star Wars... Star Wars The First Resistance, wherever pods can are cast, and also YouTube. See, I'm sorry, I've been- I've been in emotional distraught the last two days. Because, you did finish um, JJK. I- I- I hope- uh, G JJK's great, I hope Gay Gay never knows another day of peace. Um, From the sounds of it, he won't. I liked the joke that Avi made that was like, Oh, he was sick for like two weeks, I wonder what the over-under is on one of his assistants fucking poisoning him. Uh, I, we we also keep joking. I hope to God that law doesn't pass in Japan that will unmask creators. Gege will be genuinely unsafe. By the way, uh, hey, he, would you like to hear some really bad news? Oh, of some really terrible, awful, horrible, no good, awful, just garbage, shitty ass, terrible, awful news. Hit me with this terrible after, news. After Jujutsu Kaisen, Gege Akutami is going to keep writing manga. Fuck. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> I don't need to- I, I can't be hurt again. This is my 9-11 and October 7th. What's the Damn it, I thought, second one? At least you're on January 6th yet. I feel- Wait, I feel wait, wait, less hang on. What's the second one? What? What's October 7th? October 7th. Keaton, Keaton I've never envied you more in my life. I'm gonna send you a DM. <laughs> I hate that oh, that chat I feel like I've I feel like I've bumble fucked into something. The stock market crash. <laughs> I have a feeling it's I've, I have a feeling if it was that he wouldn't be DMing me about it. Hi, I'm gonna send you a DM. Matt. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! It just clicked with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's so heaten. Uh, that's so that's the fucking stream, guys. I'm gonna go fucking jujitsu kill myself. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my God. God. But dude, speaking I, of allegations, I'm though, fucking. Oh, I'm right. sorry. I memory hold it. No, it's fine. I again, I I envy you for not remembering. But you want to know what's what's real good news though? Like actual good news. He, our my boy, beat the allegations. Diddy couldn't do it. Drake couldn't do it. 
Dr. Disrespect couldn't do it, but Mog, Lord of Blood, came through for me. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I fucking I swear love we... that, like, they went out of their way to un-George R.R. R. Martin Mog. I swear I've done this before. <laughs> uh, the loathsome but... child molester beat the allegations. But good for Mog, I guess. I was busy yep. in the blood to Turns out Mog was the victim the entire time. Yeah, fuck off, Griffith. <laughs> Can you fucking- by the way, like... Um, can you fucking believe? Sometimes I sit and I'm like, I don't. I'm like, I don't have any context for the for the fucking Drake Kendrick beef. I just don't. You know. <laughs> I can give you a bit. Like I don't. Like, I don't. Know, I, I, don't think... I don't like. I don't know anything about hip hop. Is my point. But uh, but I'm sitting here enjoying my my spot on the sidelines. As I've said before, I do like niche community drama. Um, uh, and what is, truly what is a rap beef between two of, like, the most prominent musicians of our time than niche community drama? But, like, even I, a Philistine who knows nothing, who had to learn what the phrase, uh, to be made into a pack meant by Hood Jujutsu Kaisen, even I... The whitest girl known to man watched Kendrick Lamar and his family crip walk in that fucking, uh, on fucking Drake's grave in that fucking music video. And I'm like, kill him. He's done. <laughs> Dude, I, I was telling my dad about it and I was like, this is the biggest rap beef in history. And my dad said, well, no, it's not. I was there when it was Blood versus Crips. Uh, and I was like, Dad, that that ended because of this. Kind like, of not a joke. Like, they're on the stage together now. Actually, kind of not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's unbelievable how much we all get to sit by the campfire, sing Kumbaya about how many uh, pedophiles Drake is. kind of wild. Everybody's in yeah, unanimous that's... agreement, and I think that's really good. Also, I'm Canadian enough to say that uh, it, it, we don't claim Drake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like Toronto... Like, I have enough family- I have enough family in Toronto to be, like, not. I feel like Toronto's been, would... like, a... <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Keaton could throw a rock and hit Canada, so... I'd yeah, oh, I'm... Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, when you do that, can you make... Can, can you can you see if maybe you can hit Ontario? <laughs> I've been doing my best. That'd be funny. Listen, I've anyway, been trying to, to the moon. for too long now. <laughs> Nothing's worked. Oh, no, Listen, but... I just... I just keep drawing Ontario... Like, Ontario's hot girl form doing stuff, and... Hashtag hip-hop That's my <laughs> I That's love my God. Society. I made a fucking. I need you to know that like, uh, the reading comprehension epidemic is real, and you should believe it because I. So I did a thing a while back, uh, where, uh, every day for a week, I drew something that was on the um, the Tumblr trending uh, tab. Just wanted to see what would happen. The answer's not much. Uh. I just thought it'd be an interesting thing to try. And I post- and my first one was I, I drew Kendrick Lamar. And I, I made that exact same joke, where I was like, I do love me some niche community drama. I swear to god, I had somebody in my fucking replies on Tumblr being like, actually, this isn't niche community drama. This is, uh, this is a legendary hip-hop beef between two of the biggest artists in the world. I don't know if you knew that. And I was like, Yeah. Who are you? Of, of course, of course I do. Did you, uh, did you, was... side note, I saw a post, uh, I wanted to make you aware of this because I think you'd find it funny, um, and it's on topic, um, I saw a post that was all like, 
The people who think Eminem could beat Kendrick in a rap battle are crazy. And I quote tweet of great, the hip hop community's power scaling now. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but can he beat Eminem though? <laughs> but can he beat Eminem though? I don't know, bro. When Daddy Eminem went, Thomas, I, I I don't know, dog. When Ooh. Eminem went Slim Shady t free, I don't, I don't know, dog. It'd be pretty difficult. <laughs> I think it's also hilarious how this started as a three-way. It, it did, and like, then it, was... it did, and then Jay Cole was like, "Ah, uh, I think the fuck not, actually. I think I'm gonna." And then, and then Jay Cole said, "I have zero enemies." <laughs> <laughs> and he was crowned smartest man to ever live. <laughs> Sentence could have been misconstrued to you conflating it. Could it have? When to me being like, this is niche community drama to a beef that had literally consumed the entire world with two of the biggest recording artists ever. Could it have been though? <laughs> I'm sobbing, they push glasses into scold you. It's really funny. Listen, this was years ago, but every so often I do still think, uh, I wonder if the person who told me to my face that I wasn't allowed to have a different opinion to a gay person is still on Tumblr. <laughs> I think about them regularly, as a fellow gay person. <laughs> I hope they're. I hope wherever they are, they're doing more. Um. Fucking. I hope they're doing more. It was so <laughs> stupid. It was just we were. I was talking about. Um. I don't even remember. I think I. I. Well, I remember, but I don't remember exactly what started it. I don't remember if it was something I reblogged or if it was something I said. But I. I, this was before we found out that uh, Soldier 76 was gay, by the way. this is, That's important context. Um, oh, boy. I, I said that I liked uh, the ship dynamic of him and Mercy more than I liked uh, him and Reaper. And that I thought a lot of the mainline Overwatch ships were kind of lame. I still do. Um... Less the less the former, more the latter, obviously. Uh, yeah. Uh, New information did come out. The, the, the rumor did come the, the out. The rumor came out. Soldier seventy six. Does gay. The rumor come out, and so did so did Soldier seventy six. Uh, so like, but they told me that me liking that ship more was homophobic. It's not, but carry and I, on. Then, because I said I didn't like pharmacy. Spoilers, I still don't. Emergency is way better. Listen, I don't know how to. Blood like you do. Yeah, listen, I don't know how to explain to you that I have weird squicky feelings about uh, ships where one person knew the other at knew the other as a child. Yeah. Uh, that that makes me feel a type of way. But um, Heaton, it's girls kissing, so you can't dislike it. I like other ships of girls kissing. The joke. No, but you. this is the pop. This is the popular one. You have to agree with me. That's what they said. God. That's literally what I can't it was. Can't wait for you to. And I told them that I was like, well, started. I said, well, I disagree. And they can were, you tell my? And Sorry, they, you first. And they told me to my face. They were like, well, I'm gay, and so you can't have a different opinion than me about gay ships. And I was like, sis, so am I. <laughs> can you tell the resentment in my- Can you tell the resentment in my voice when I did that bit, by the way? Ugh, it's the worst. Don't I lie. hate this shit. I need you to understand, I have been in one too many fandoms where the most popular girl, like, like, uh, I don't know the terminology. I'm just gonna say, girl kissing ship was like the worst one. Mm -hmm. Like, there are better girl kissing ships you could have in this with this particular IP. Why do you all gravitate to the worst one? Like, it, it happened. It, it's happened a good few times in fandoms I was either a part of or still am a part of. And you can tell my resentment is built up over the years. Um, Sapphic, yeah, you're right. 
Genji and Mercy. Yeah, I'm um, fucked up by a scientist angle to it. I like it. How dare? Of course, I, how dare you, Chex Notes? Have a differing opinion from someone on the internet. I know. I'm not allowed. I keep forgetting. I keep fucking forgetting that I'm not allowed to have dissenting opinions. It's why nobody likes me. Like I like you. Shut up. <laughs> this is my fucking. Listen, I, I've said before, I don't give, like, a lot of credence to people who are mean to me in my YouTube comments, but one of them that just sticks with me was somebody was like, well, if you weren't such a fucking sp hateful, spiteful bitch, maybe people would like you more. And I was like, huh? Keaton's one of the least hateful people I've met. The fuck are you on about, homie? I was like, I'm just sitting over here playing Minecraft. What are you talking about? I was about to say, one of the reasons I have such a high opinion of Eden is that she's one of the few people with a brain on the internet who's not a miserable fuck like the rest of you. I try really <laughs> hard. I was about to say, I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I get angry about stuff, but I think that's fairly normal. Yeah. Dude, I fucking, I, I made a discovery today, by the way. Speaking of being hateful, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I found out today in We're TikTok all comments, star. I can, you... Yeah, you are not allowed. It goes against community guidelines to say the words gay or homosexual in a TikTok comment section. You want to know it's not against community guidelines? Hmm. The F slur. Jesus. Oh. I can't believe we can't yeah. say friend. Somebody test just, out I, right now. <laughs> I just think it's, it's unbelievable that you can say slurs, but you can't say, like, yeah, I tried. Yeah, I tried saying uh, I want more gay shit on in a in a comment section. I think it was about Star Wars, and it was I it, it, it TikTok said no. I yeah, no, I, mean, I was res I was responding to a comment today where this dude was said the Epsler, and I said, "No, nah, dude, you're just trying to repress your gay feelings. Go out and find and have sex with men because I know you want to." Um, I found I found the comment actually. Put it in our the Star Wars game chat. Star Wars should be more gay and more well personally. I know the High Republic is pretty gay. Uh, same with Doctor Afra. I hope Ryan Johnson's trilogy is gay and woke AF. Me too. Yeah, I do. Like I, I remember I, I made a comment once where I said like I really appreciate how new age gay humor has transitioned from making fun of people for effeminate qualities and thus calling them gay in a derogatory fashion to um, it essentially embracing that idea of being effeminate and gay in terms of, like, oh, the reason why boys, uh, sit next to each other and look forward it, when they're talking to each other is because if they, uh, s looked at each other for too long, they'd start kissing, and then the guy's like, <laughs> no, no, don't tell them what she <laughs> No, 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 you know what that reminds me of, Bob? It reminds me of that audio of the guys where it's like, the reason of the girl who's like, the reason why they say women and children first on a ship is sinking is so the guys can stay back and kiss each other. No! <laughs> no! Yeah, I love the transition of... No. I love the transition from, like, mocking men for being gay to the joke is that, oh my god, my friend group is so gay. <laughs> Actually, partially related to, uh... To, to um the anime that broke my heart um th there's a recent audio i found where it's just like people keep doing stop motion animations of gojo to it where it's all like i don't even like girls see i have a boyfriend <laughs> i i just love gay humor i'm honestly. so de i am so devoted to my girlfriend that i don't even look at porn with women in it w wait <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I listen, man. I I can't. Yeah, no, go ahead. Before you go. Yeah. I was gonna say before I go, there's a thing I want to uh, say that Ron White once said about how to prove that any man is is capable of being gay, and you just have to ask him this series of questions. All right. So, do you watch porn? Yeah, I watch porn. All right. Do you watch only porn with two women in it? No, I watch porn between a man and a woman. All right. Uh, do you like it when the guy has a sh has a shriveled tiny dick? No, I like it when they're big, frobbing, hot. I did not know that about myself. <laughs> nice. I love that bit. It's really good. 
dude. You fucking, I'm you so think you, you take that one to the bank? <laughs> but alas, it is time for me to depart, so I shall catch you later, y'all. Goodbye. Bye. I, goodbye. I'm so devoted to my wife, I don't even watch porn unless my wife is in it. I'm so devoted to my mm -hmm. girlfriend, I kiss my boyfriend in front of her. I make sure, th yeah. I'm that so one's not even a joke, that's just actually something I've done. So devoted. I'm so devoted to my girlfriend. I make out with my boyfriend in front of her. What? This is your reminder that I am living my best life and I love both of my significant others very dearly. I am. I am. I am into hijacking this conversation to remind you I love my wife and Listen, my Listen, the owned by China shit in, about security is dumb, but it is owned by a Chinese company and therefore this shit is allowed to fly. You're so right. I also love both my significant others. You do, Justin. Ah oh, shit, you got you got two as well. It's me, Wait twice. It. Oh yeah, it's, it's just Brooke twice. God. No, it's me and it's me and Cherry. Dude, Cherry. I, got, I like the okay. idea. I like the idea that Cherry is just you again. <laughs> Cherry is just you like, in an over in a fucking in a fucking disguise. Like, very Cherry White Wing. Yeah, Cherry. Yeah. Huh. I know that person. I like that person. Cherry rules. I can't wait. I was- we were joking about, like, Cherry was like, I have to be here when you play Silent Hill 2, and the plan was for her to, and now she literally will be. <laughs> she'll be- she'll- there will be, uh, there will be four people crowded around this desk. See, I'm just- dog, I'm gonna be so annoying in September, I'm so afraid of that. And by that, I mean, actually, it'll probably be two people. It'll be me and Brooke sitting next to me, and then Cherry and Justin sitting downstairs so that they can mute their mic and make out. No. Yeah, Cherry is just Brooke with a French accent. Um, but, um, no, I'm, I'm gonna be so annoying in, um, September. Oh, fucking... And I... Uh, I'm sorry, diverting... Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Fucking. Uh, Divert away. Who here saw the trailer for whatever the fuck Emio is? Uh, yeah. Uh, I co tweeted that with Nintendo. What the fuck? First party horror game? Hello? I mean, it'd be nice to see something from it. It'd be nice to be interested in a Nintendo first party game again. It's been a hot minute since that happened. I, uh. I was, I was rearranging the books and I went to, uh, and I went to switch YouTube videos, and I checked my subscription feed, and all it said was Emio. And then the all the only thing in the description is who is Emio ha is the hashtag who is Emio, and it's like 15 seconds of this weird bag head. And I was like, what the hell is this? I'm so excited. Listen, this looks Excel. My literal favorite Nintendo IP is literally like a weird rhythm game they did on the DS that nobody in America played. So I'm all for that company doing weird shit. It's like, I, I know, it's odd. Uh, I'm saying nice things about Nintendo. I know a lot of people who are familiar with me think that's weird, but I can do it. Um, it is possible. Um, I didn't know you were a Rhythm Heaven fan. Oh, that's cute. You think it's Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> what is it? Eden, have you ever heard of a game called Jam with the Band? No. It's, it's great. Oh, all right, hold on. Have you ever played Smash Brothers Brawl? Yes. Have you ever used the assist trophies in that game? Yes. Have you ever seen a uh, the assist trophy who who is like a woman with a guitar and purple hair? Yeah. Yeah, that's Barbara, and she's from Jam with the Band. Oh. Uh, it never came out in the in America, but it had an English release in Europe, and I imported a physical copy recently because I've ori I originally played it via Nintendo PC anyway. Um, Why am I Nintendo PC? And now, and now I can play it on actual hardware, which is good because it doesn't run that good when emulated because of its unique cartridge technology. But that's aside the point. I, I put mean, up a video anyway because I, mean, I like. Who said that? Uh, what? Who said that? What? Um. Um. Point is, I like Jane with the band, and I'm still mad Barbara was not an assist trophy in Smash Four or Ultimate. Like, I swear, if this game came out in America, she'd be more popular. I swear to, I, I swear, I swear. I don't know, maybe they'll do like a DS version of their online 
service and then they could come out on that and then everyone could finally know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know how hard it is when people ask your favorite Nintendo first party game and you have to say some niche shit that no one's ever heard of and you didn't have to spend the next 30 minutes explaining it? I just looked up and saw Emo. I saw a screenshot of someone posting the trailer for that and someone else going, huh, I didn't know Emo has a video game. And I went, I'm gonna shoot my pants. Tara, um, Emo, my wife? Emo, I'm Tara, I'm gonna shit. Tara, not in chat! <laughs> I will say, though, I do, I am also a fan of Rhythm Heaven, but it's not my favorite Nintendo IP. Mm. I fucking, I just, I don't know what the fuck this is. It's spooky as hell, and I'm here for it. Oh, no, I don't know what this shit is either, but that's what makes me excited about it. Oh, that, that new, that new Nintendo trailer where they just put out, like, just the name. Yeah, Creepy Baghead, yeah. That was crazy. They mixed the protagonist from Little Nightmares 2 with Columbo. Just one Ooh. more thing. God, they did. Um, I'm so fucking... I'm so fucking excited for Slitterhead. I'm apparently, so fucking excited. Finally, apparently, after all this, after all these years, I'm finally free. So apparently, Ian Flynn, when he writes Modern Vector, looks at Columbo as a place of inspiration, and I think that's funny. Yeah, did you know that uh, one of my favorite, like, fun Jap uh, Japanese fun facts is that the Japanese really like Columbo? Uh, Ian Flynn's the one we keep, right? It's Ken Penders that we yes. use Penders that we yes. toss in the garbage? It, yes, Ian Flynn's a I'm genius. That's so true. Um, I'll say, Ian Flynn's a genius. He gave us gay Sonic characters. He's he's the master of his craft. Um, Dude. Who's the one that wrote about the Sonic clone that was a girl because it was the only stable clone, aka why Sonic is canonically trans? I would not be able to tell you that. I don't know it. I don't know Sonic. I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I have Sonic autism, but it's not that deep. Um. All I know is that if you do a clone story and the only stable version is a female version, that means you're inadvertently telling me that your uh, main male protagonist is trans. Wait. Cool. Thanks, Wait. Zora. So Sonic, uh, Danny Phantom, there was a third one. I'm forgetting, there's a trio of them. My favorite thing about the fact that, like, the entire Danny Phantom community has decided that Danny Phantom is trans is that Butch Hartman would fucking hate that, and therefore I support it implicitly. Dude, and I... I think there's enough evidence to support well, that. Well, yeah, well. there is also, but, like, the real reason we should be supporting it is because anything that makes bigots upset, we should support. Oh, for sure. I think it's incredible because, like, there was this person who came over to our house whom I never saw again. Oh, and um, Peter Parker. Who apparently worked with Butch. Um, because they're, like, him and his daughter were here for Comic-Con. And, uh, they, he was telling me, like, yeah, no, dude, like, listen. A lot of the things you hear about Butch Hartman are... Like, from, pe from the perspectives of people who don't know him and who have never worked with him. His real problems show up when you start working with him. Everything else is just window dressing. And I'm like, that is nuts. That is a nuts thing to say about a human being. I love with all of my heart that he's like, listen, all of the things that you've heard are exaggerated and blown out of proportion. These are the things you also, should be mad at him for. <laughs> also, real quick, what do you, what do you mean by Spider-Man? What do you mean? Uh, I think there was a Peter Parker Spider-Man run. I couldn't tell you which which one. Clone Saga, I think. But Jessica. I think there was... Yeah. Okay, but Peter Parker trans. Yeah, Jessica but, but Drew is a... a Jessica Drew's a clone of uh, Spider Woman. She's a clone of Peter uh, Parker. No, I know, I know that, but like, Man. I thought the argument was the only stable clone. Yeah, she was the only stable clone. Yeah. What about my boy Ben? Ben. Yeah, Ben. Ben Riley is a lot of things, and I would never accuse him of being stable. Okay. No, not but like, are we saying like a stable clone as in mentally stable or stable as in holds together properly? I think both uh, of these things. Usually it's holds together properly. Usually it's holds together properly. I forgot about Ben Riley, but then but we shouldn't knock a uh, the the Jessica evidence. I was about to say no, no, that's fine. Uh, the you know, evidence. Go off. Will. I was like, no, go just... off. It's just, it's just. I, it's just Ben is Ben Riley's Pookie Bear, and I didn't want to like 
then I was worried this was about to this was about to become like a like a weird like hatred of Ben oh, and I was about to throw hands. No, I, I don't know anything. I don't know much about anything about Ben Riley and I completely forgot he existed, so no balance, was... just for gore. Mentally that's, that's debatable, fair. yeah. Uh, I say like, don't I say like, don't worry, it's fair. Um uh, just know I I would die for this clone of Peter Parker, and I'm really mad that the comics are fucking him up right now. Um, I know. Ben how, ben, how do you feel about the Batman analog horror? The what? Huh? Oh, I'm I'm all for it. That's fucking the, awesome. The fucking the what? Concept, uh, it, uh, that, it, it's uh, it's a concept that like the all, all like the low level thugs have like uh like. Some people have seen the Batman, other people who haven't seen the Batman, uh, and it's just like this debate, like, I think it's from, like, a, a debate online, and it's like chat rooms and stuff like that, discussing the validity of whether or not Batman exists within Gotham. Oh, then you're oh. not talking about the same thing I'm talking about, Hogan. Oh. Which one's yours? What the, thing are you I'm, the thing I'm taking, talking about takes place in the 60s, allegedly. Ooh. Uh, Send me a link. I will. Um, Batman, I'll have, consume it. I have mixed feelings. I'm gonna. Re I I had to regurgitate everything that fucking uh, Zdarsky made, but you know. I, I have to say, I like it overall, but I think that it's running. It's hitting a problem. This is something I wanted to do a yap session about, where yeah. I wanted to talk about uh, the second coming of the creepy pasta. Um, that's a sentence? Because that's what I think a lot of analog horror stuff is becoming. Non-derogatory. Yeah. Non it's just, I think it's the second coming of the creepypasta. Uh, and one of those things is when I wanted to talk about um, how uh, fucking like, stuff like the, um, the My Little Pony infection I use Oh, yeah. Um, and now the fact that, like, the Batman analog horror... Well, I guess it's the Justice League analog horror, but I saw the Batman one. Um, it's the most fleshed out so Just... far. I'll consume it. It sounds interesting. And um, I'm, I just want to talk about, like, I think it's really interesting that... that uh, truly, the fandom will... Uh, time is a flat circle... And I mean, yearn for creepy pastas. The, ch say, I mean, the children yearn for Squidward suicide. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, uh, I've, yeah, seen the, sure. I've seen I, the I guess I do. I've seen the resurrection of like a lot of the old creepy pastas from my era. Um, look, I'm gonna be so real with, for you, with you. The minute I was scrolling my for you page and saw someone in a fucking Tiki Toby cosplay lip syncing that fucking. If our love is tragedy, why are you my remedy song? It was the minute I real I felt my fucking hair is gray. Um, I was yeah, like, Tiki Toby has is having a resurgence, so I hear. I was like, look, listen, I was there in my teens. Listen, I I was also in the creepy pasta pit, as was my sister. Like we were both there, but I can only speak for myself. She's not here. Um, but like, no, listen, I get it. I understand. The children do, in fact, yearn for the creepy pasta. It's an etern It's a. It's a forever. It's like an evergreen feeling, from like, you know, uh, uh, kids who feel out of place to find the spooky spaghettis and go, "Wow, this speaks to me." I'm just. I'm. I'm just. Listen, I. I said that I knew uh, that time was a flat circle when I unironically uh, saw a teenager doing uh, an edit of Gojo and uh, Ghetto to uh, Helena. Um, I mean, before they were called creepypastas, they used to be petty journalists, so... Like, it's all... Oh yeah, it's all one beautiful cycle. We're all... You are not immune to creepypasta. Because I, I, I... And I think, unironically, I think that's great. I'm stoked about it. Oh, no, yeah. I remember. 
The wheel of ages will always turn, crushing us beneath its spokes. All we can do is withstand. That's incredibly profound for, uh, for the comment section, especially coming from you, Daedalus. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, coming you know from, what's I'm even going to get Anubis boy pregnant, Daedalus. You know what's funny about remembering like the creepypasta 2010s era and my nostalgia with it? Mm -hmm. It's just remembering watching in real time an entire like so, in, like gen, like saga of like internet teenagers look at that image of a funny Jeffrey man and decide, um, okay, uh, that is an anime pretty boy who likes to kill people. We have all just collectively decided that. Uh, and I want to like, because like if you look at the initial Jeff, image, how did we get that from that? I don't know. <laughs> like, how did we? Like, I remember in my head, I would always, like, take in fan content and conceptualize their personalities in my head. Mm. It's the reason why I, I really like the fan version of, like, Ben Drowned, for example, where they kind of made him, like, just a gremlin shit. Like, and I, I liked that back then. It was great. Um, but end of the day, we got that from a creepy Link statue. And I don't know how I how how to think about that. You know, it's like like creepy pasta kids were on a different level. We looked at the simplest images and whatnot. Well, so the, it's actually kind of like one of those really interesting things about how the human brain works it itself is no matter no matter what we see, we always try to create a face from it, right? It, it like it, like it's kind of similar to like looking up in the clouds and trying to make trying to make a shape out of something that's not human. Right? The human brain seeks yeah. pattern recognition. Exactly, exactly. And ultimately, I, I think that this pattern recognition is what, it, it, this pattern recognition is kind of what, it stems from the fear aspect of our brain. Because, you know, we evolved to be aware of the things that are around us. It's one of the reasons why so many humans are afraid of the dark. It's because evolutionary, the dark is scary. There's shit that's in the dark. So we have to be mindful of the shit that's in the dark. Um, so I think the reason one of the one of those reasons why, like you know, we we try to I don't want to say humanize. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, anthropomorphize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we try to anthropomorphize things. It, it's that desire to make something relatable and then finding something scary. Um, is ultimately going to be the core concept of horror. Well, it's also it, it's also a coping mechanism. It's easier for your brain to rationalize something that scares you if you can humanize it, because if it can, it, exactly. because if you humanize it, it can be reasoned with. Yeah. It's why inherently, it's, uh, it's why inherently I prefer uh, surprise. I prefer things like Elfish monstrosities because uh, I'm a big fan of. The notion of something that you can try to reason with, but like, or rational. Like, well, I like the idea of something that you try to reason with, but like, the way it thinks and perceives the world is so far beyond you that it only that trying to rationalize it only makes your fear of it deepen, only makes it fucking worse. Yeah, yeah. It's why it's I like. It, it's Go ahead. It, I was gonna say, it's why I prefer, like, Eldritch Monstrosities. I prefer the, like, the cold, like... It's it's also kind of why I really like, um, why I'm a big fan of things like, um... Like the cold yeah. mad scientist trope as well. Is mm. I like the idea of something you can talk to but whose reasoning is so far beyond yours either because they're like oh deeply fucked up or because like they just exist on a level that you cannot perceive i find that way scarier yeah i don't know if you knew that i don't know i don't know if you could tell the, and then there's also like that you know uh, the, the the concept of uh, you know, people looking upon an elder horror and immediately going mad upon the sight of it. 
Um, and I've always kind of internalized that concept. It's because what they're looking at or they're perceiving is so beyond that level of once again trying to like make a face, make a make it make a human shape out of something, and it just won't. Because we can look up in clouds and find a shape that looks familiar to us, right? Mm -hmm. But if we look upon something that's an eldritch horror and it's just beyond that ability that we have, that in itself is horrifying. Right. I I love the idea of stuff like that. Like the reason that it the reason that it defies explanation is because it is so unlike any it is so alien to you and to anything you've ever known that there's just no point of comparison. You don't have words for it. Yeah. Is I have a weird relationship. Like a stroke? <laughs> no, I, I usually turn on like a like a background like jazz radio station. I don't know. I need to have something playing in the background. I can't listen to licensed music, so here we are. Here we go. I think there's um, a way I... to do it without it showing up in the VOD. There is, but then it would just be quiet for them and No, I think you can still have it. Be no, you can Oh, <laughs> I know about that, but I can still get in trouble, so I, I just don't bother. Yeah. It's well, it's why uh, I I have such a weird relationship with horror, because on paper, I love horror. I think horror is such a, is such a fascinating thing to explore. Um, that being said, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a scaredy bitch. I don't like, like being baby. scared. I, I get spooked so easily. I get scared so easily. Despite my desire to be a part of the horror troupe, I've and it's it's not from lack of trying. It's not from lack of like, oh, you know, oh, I watched one thing that was scary and that turned me off to all horror. No, I've tried consuming horror. And there is some horror I can handle. I can handle the alien movies. I could do Terminator. I could do um uh, I Thank do, you for the I, follow, Gay Cheeto Puff. What a good username. <laughs> Fucking I. Um, yeah, no, I, I was once like you, a weenie who. Could I'm not... also a huge baby. A weenie. I'm, I'm a weenie. I, despite uh, my desire to go to uh, the salty spittoon. The big boy. Salty spittoon. I am forever stuck in weenie hut. I'm very sorry. You guys are having this really thought-provoking conversation, and I'm just in the back, no thoughts, head empty, with mall music free from Dead Rising playing in my head. <laughs> Weenie Hut Juniors! Are you trying to tell me I belong at Weenie Hut Juniors? No, sorry. I was pulling to the place next to it. Super Weenie Hut Juniors! You do belong at Super Weenie Hut Juniors, you're so right. I love that about you, though. That's fine. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I like listening to Spooky Podcast. He does like, like the Spooky Podcast. You like the Spooky Podcast. The spookier, the better. Just, like, listen, the Magnus Protocol... Magnus Archives. Uh, oh, no, also Magnus Ar Protocol. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Protocol. Um, I love audio dramas. Uh, I, I, yeah, fucking X-Files is cool. I don't think that counts as horror, but still. X-Files counts. You are eating your mic. Yeah, you might be covering it up. I did. Is that better? Much. Yep. I just had an incident at Target. An incident what at Target? What occurred? So I noticed this woman was trying to find out where her kid had gone, but because woman, very quiet. So she had me call for her kid, who of course absolutely heard me. And she starts fussing at him when he turns the corner, like, young man, I had to get this security guard to call for you. And he's like, I'm not a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> they I've been mistaken as a worker. I've never been mistaken as a security guard. Now I don't know what to do. Well, you can do two things. You can just go about your day, or you can become a Christian. I'm going to recommend the former. But you could. <laughs> I don't see any benefits to pretending to be a security guard. Well, you helped this lady get find her kid. I mean, yeah. I helped her, yes. But I'm talking about, like, what do I do after that? It's just 
finding the kids just simply being loud, which I don't need to need to fool people into thinking I'm a security guard to do. I do that naturally. <laughs> they probably they probably knew you were the security guard, but they said that you were a security guard to freak the kid out. Possibly. No, because when I corrected her, that lady turned beet red. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever seen a? Think about it. Have you ever seen a straight Cheeto puff? You know what? You're so right. <laughs> to be fair, I've been mistaken for the employee of a few stores in the past. I have also. Uh, I have been mammed. You guys stop wearing the Best Buy. I don't know what to tell you. I have been mammed at craft stores a couple of times. Like I remember this one time. Like, actually, look at the store. Yeah. I remember as re as recently as earlier this year. Someone was asking me where something was when I was when I was in Spencer's, and I'm like, "Ma'am, I don't work here." You do. You do look like you'd work at a Spencer's, though. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> Are you wearing red? No, and I'm in an HEB right now. It's so funny. It happens every time. Also, uh, um, also, you really, you really think so? Are you really. <laughs> Yeah. God, you guys are so nice to me. <laughs> Listen, your aesthetic is one of someone who would work at a Spencer's Gifts. I love it here. I was about to say, non, non derogatory, but also not necessarily complimentary. Make of that what you will. I'm taking it as a compliment. You can't fucking stop me, so. Where did Kelly get an apron with cows on it? Madness comes. I want it. I like. I love this. What a good one. Madness comes when the ant, for a moment, can see as a human does. It understands the markings are words, symbols with meaning, like a pheromone, but indefinitely more complex. It can travel unimaginable distances to lands and unlike anything it has seen before. It knows of mirth, embarrassment, love, concepts unimaginable before this moment, and then it is an ant again, and then uh. And then immediately following this tremendously poignant message, Daedalus says, Ben sounds like he's in a box and Danica looks like if Spencer's gifts was a person. <laughs> valid. <laughs> also valid. I fucking, I fucking love my chat. I'm so glad that I've cultivated an audience of like-minded thinkers. Good lord. <laughs> I found the, oh, I found the Justice League analog for it, but I yeah. A little bit later. Not right now. No, no. I have again. I have mixed feelings. I don't. I don't necessarily dislike it. I like a lot of the things it's doing. Um. I have no proof. Is it a no. Okay. Well, then. Uh, I've no. Then I can look at the. Then I can look at this critically. Yeah, I've no um. Uh, definite proof, but from looking at some of the artwork, I think they might be using generative AI, but I'm not sure. Mm. So I don't want to make that accusation, it just kind of looks like it. Uh, yeah. He might be drawing in different styles in order to, like, uh, in order to make things seem different, but I don't know. I can't be sure. Um, and then... I feel like... While it had a very solid start, I feel like it is leaning too hard into fan service in order to appeal to its audience, as opposed to just kind of letting things... Because, like, for example, there was a protracted period of time where, in this thing, they were, like... They were showing off Bruce kidnapping children in order to, like, form the Bat family. <laughs> uh... And you could deduce from who wasn't there and, like, context clues that the person who was telling all of, like, our leaker was Tim. Mm. Uh, and I was a fan of that. Because, like, yeah. it was like, okay, so we see all the wanted posters for the Bat family. The only person missing is Tim. And Tim is the one who's like, I'm sending out these broadcasts, etc., etc. And I'm like, that sounds like Tim. Yeah. You could tell, like, from context clues, and then later on, you see a want a missing poster for Tim Drake. And I was like, okay, so he got him. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Yeah. But now, like, they're just out and out being like, my name is Jason Todd, and I'm the and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you had such a good, like, mystery fought for people on the ins to know, and you kind of ruined it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. 
So it's uh, not, again, it's not like the worst complaint known to man. It's just like, oh yeah. man, you had a little bit better mystery built up before, and now it feels like you're leaning too hard into names. You could, you can get away with, with burying the lead. I will well. say, the, uh, the, I will say that like your, your taste for horror is definitely more refined than most. Um, I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> I could <laughs> I consume a lot and I have a lot of thoughts. Yeah, exactly. Um, Am I a like, little bit of a horse? You, Not maybe, but it means that I have good taste. Your taste for horror is the same taste for horror that I see when I go to fucking um, when I went to work at um, a haunt. That's that's the energy I seek to cultivate. Because <laughs> the people that work at a haunt, my God, those guys are those guys are in it for the craft let me fucking tell you in what. It for the love of the game especially if it's like a really popular haunt there's people that like there's people that have been like consuming horror media since they were like five years ago they haven't seen thoughts about pinhead and what that shit is and i i worked a haunt for like half a week and i was just like this isn't for me <laughs> i'm having fun but this isn't for me this isn't my crowd i feel like i i, I feel you feel like you're going to be targeted. Fucking, I- I've- Maybe next year, if we're not so fucking busy around Halloween time, I'll see if there's a haunt in Memphis. Maybe I'll see if I can't apply. I miss working haunts. I haven't done it in years. Last time was when that kid had to go to the hospital! <laughs> And it was only a little my fault. Only a little bit. Does Ben work for ghosts? He used to. He does no longer. Now he works for, uh, well, he works with, I don't think he works for him anymore, because I believe you told me you changed jobs. Uh, but he works with a funny, with a funny man who is consistently accidentally ableist towards him and keeps forgetting that he has a reading disability. God, those clips are so fucking funny. I love Andrew just being like, why don't you just read the manga? And then the whole fucking group is like, you have reading disability, Andrew! <laughs> Who you call him, Pinhead? You are the Pinhead, Pinhead. If people have a nuanced conversation about, like, who their favorite Michael Myers is, for example, you know you're in a good crowd. Surrounded by people you can trust. There we go. One more, and then we're done for today. Ah. No, Daedalus, he doesn't hate magicians, he hates heist movies. Specifically, he hates a heist movie about magicians. Listen, I don't know what his fucking beef is. I like Now You See Me. Also, wait, what is a haunt? I thought those were things ghosts did. It's like a the haunted house you walk through, right? Yep. So like when you when you go to like a professional haunted house, that's what they're called. They're called haunts. It's just a short it's just a shorter way to say a haunted house. I 
because some of them all aren't house themed. Some of them are, you know, some of them have different themes or like whatever. A haunted corn maze or whatever. Yeah. If you have if you have actors dress up and have props and things, that's for example. Go and stuff. That's usually a haunt. For example, the one Ben worked at was uh, in an old abandoned prison. Comics hates magicians. Is the condiment oh, is the condiment king and owns stinky snake cats. He does own stinky snake cats. I want to meet the babies, the noodles. We have to. That has to be a priority target next year. We keep cucking Ben. We do keep cooking, Ben, and it sucks. I love that guy. It, it sucks that we keep- shit keeps occurring. <laughs> like specifically uh, redrawing some of the poses that some people post their characters in just because I think that they have really great like expressive poses and I'm like I just don't want to improve on perfection to be honest. So I'll just use their original like reference drawing as a base. updates from silver about the summer games fest uh no but i can ask him about it later if you want <laughs> like i know it's technically better to get it done sooner rather than later but i want to know how much wiggle room i have i guess as much as you need well and truly I just don't want to be the one to delay the project. Mountain Dew Liberty Chill tastes like dust. What? He's like oh, no, dust. God, that's so smart. I should do that, man. Who keeps being an overachiever idiot? I don't know. I just, I like, I'm also a big fan of like, draw this in your style type challenges as well. So maybe that's also why. I just like when I've been provided with some genuinely good art to start with that I quite like. I'm like, I'll... I'll just draw this myself. I don't know why as I'm drawing this, all I can hear is like the new Life Arrow video is the like, Wiz, I'm a little fucking dumb. Wiz, I'm a little fucking stupid. Oh, you know how we know that we can keep, uh, uh, the, uh, how we can keep the shenanigans? Oh. Uh, so in the new Lithero video, 
uh, they get Metal Gear Solid 1 sprites modded in for Otacon, Meryl, and uh, David. Mm -hmm. And they expressly make a joke of Raiden being like, your good buddy Otacon, and it just cuts to Snake and Otacon making out, and they're like, oh yeah, friends. Women. And then fucking Javi just goes, they're gay, good for them. So there's not a con shippers, we can keep them. I mean, they're just married. Hey fellas, is it gay to be married and raise a child, and raise a child together? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's pretty gay. I'm glad we can all agree that Snake and Otacon are married. Snake and are married. Can I it's tell Phoenix you? and Edgeworth are gay. I'm so glad that Raiden's Fortnite model was based on his best design, the MGS2 design. So now all the SFM animations in that video involving Raiden use that model. That made me really happy. I was really happy about that. I'm also a big fan of... Um... Uh, so I posted the first episode, for those of you who don't know, uh, over on the VOD channel. Uh, I posted the first episode of mine and Brooke's uh, Phoenix Wright Let's Play. And to fucking props to Daedalus, whose first comment was the, like, uh, was like, Heaton, Pride Month is over. <laughs> Not yet. Pride month's never over. We're actually speaking, in wrath. We are in wrath. Speaking of so. Pride Month, uh, Beaton, have I told you that I have uh, finally figured out the Guilty Gear estrogen conspiracy? Explain. So, so here's the deal. Imagine estrogen as an analog. Uh, imagine like it's it's like weed, okay. where you go through like production. And then, um, like, you have your different markets, depending on where it's legal, how things are gentrified, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, taxes, government, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. So. With you so far. If, if you are getting your estrogen tax, or no, excuse me, if you're getting it from, uh, from Bridget PFPs and Bridget Mains, those are not the same thing. Um, then you, you are getting your, like, really not great, like, really diluted, taxed to fuck estrogen that sucks. And that's not gonna, that's like, it, it's commodified estrogen. It's gentrified est estrogen. It's the, it's the bad shit. You want to know where you go for the real estrogen is the sole bad guy main. They produce it on the spot and then put it in a bottle for you. I know that the sal that the sole bad guy girlies are uh are something else. Oh no, I'm saying that the best like listen. The transist there are, there are women. Two... Yeah, it's not yeah, the transist women play sole bad guy. And like you, 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 you're you figure out your trans, and you're like, yes, I'm going to be my best self, and I'm going to uh, ha reflect that in playing Guilty Gear, Lamau. I'm gonna pick Bridget, and then you're like, damn it, I just there's something about this, like the the aesthetically, this feels fine, but but when I get into it, like something feels wrong, like I don't. I don't want to do set play. I don't. I just want to kill people. And then <laughs> Soul Bad Guy puts puts his gigantic muscly hands I don't on want on to their do shoulder. Set play. I just want to kill people. Are you winning? Mixes for uh, bitches. I want to fucking wild throw you. I mean, I guess. <laughs> and then Soul Bad Guy's like, "I've got you." And then Umi Show comes in and is the best. Justin just walked up, patted me on the back, and went, Are you winning? And I was like, I guess. You are. <laughs> I suppose. You're a winner. I am winner? Yeah. This is why we're gonna this is why we're me and Brooke are leading the Slayer Revolution. Me, the sole the sole I know player in the room. 
Do I play fighting. Soul and I, Eno? No, I mean, like, I am exclusively the only I know. Yeah, I don't play. I don't better play. verbiage. I don't. I don't use. Okay, well, I don't play Soul. I yeah. Then then don't use the word Soul. Oh, okay. My mistake, buddy. My point stands. Yeah, good. I'm glad you. Would, I'm glad you finally owned up to it. My like, point I, is, is that I am the only I know player I know. I like the. Also, why do you? Say I like I the know? joke. Because, uh, because when Eno. I say Eno, someone tells me it's I know. When I say I know, someone tells me it's Eno. Frankly, I just stopped caring. Fucking. I've been uh, corrected, no matter which one I say. I was gonna. I was gonna say I saw the. Uh, that exact joke summed up with trans girls play Bridget, trans women play a Saul bad guy. Yes. yes! Trans girls play Bridget, trans women play Saul. That's, that's how it goes. Honestly, I feel like Eno is a character that every, like, Guilty Gear player should play for at least ten games so you can understand why she's bullshit. So you can understand why no one plays Eno. No, oh, it's not that. It's because Eno's weird in her movement, and so you just have to understand, like, oh, when she moves at me while not stroking my big tree, that means I just 6P and win the game. Hooray. What do you mean, no one? I'm right here. I, I, that's literally what I said. No, no, because, like... Like, you can stick he... with Eno, and that's fine. It's no, because he was like everyone should play her. No, he At didn't said nobody. You'll, you'll understand why nobody plays Eno, and I'm like I play Eno. I just got done saying I play Eno. I know. What do you mean? What do you mean nobody plays Eno? I don't know what I fucking said. Yeah, I know. Anyway, yes. it's Eno. I was paused while Justin was talking to me, and he had a good one with this sacred treasure I summon hidden the hard tea. <laughs> Damn, hidden. With God, I, I, play, I, I thought you said play kitchen strive. with the hard T. Please play strive with me. <laughs> yeah, when my fucking computer gets out of prison, I'll consider it. Well, that was a message to everyone in the in your shot, but thank you. Oh. Yeah, you know what? You know, you know what, Brooke? This is perfect. We'll get we'll get Danica to be the training dummy. It'll be perfect. The fucking who you who you calling a training tell me, buddy? You. No, I gathered that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it's that fucking TikTok I sent you of the like, who's like, you've been telling people that I'm slow. Well, you're not fast. I don't understand. Like, in the bit is she she thought he would like backpedal and he did not. <laughs> But also, like, <laughs> not the same definition of slow. It was so oh, fucking God. funny. He's just with his whole ass. He's like, well, you're not fast. And she's like, uh, no, huh? It's... And he's like, yeah, do we have a problem? Or? Yeah, because here's the thing. Eno has note. And that's it. Like, in, in terms of that matchup, like, yeah, if you've got Slayer in the corner, he's boned, but that's kind of the same thing with every single character in the entire cast. So it really just comes down to how, like, fast are you able to get Slayer in said corner? The problem is that Slayer has, like, fucking Karake Mappa to go across the entire screen and destroy Note, and it beats Stroke, and it beats Eno's Guard Crush, and it beats everything she has. I thought you were going to say the problem is that Brooke is good at Guilty Gear. I'm not. That's also a problem my ass here. Beat in the tower. Well, listen, I almost just called you Eno. Wow. Here's what's going to happen, Brooke. Uh, I'm going to grab you at one point and like, or I'm going to grab you or Heaton or both. Um, and like, I want to sit and train you guys like super hard. And then you just don't go into tower. You just, you just sit with like me or with someone else, and then I send you in for low for a, a low level strive betting, where people bet on like uh, fucking players in like level three, level four tower. <laughs> it's gonna be like, yeah, no, here we go, guys, it's it's time. And then Bones will be like, wow, we've got like 
couple hundred thousand channel points in the pot. Let's fucking see where it goes. Wow. Wow, Crouching Idiot, you really put a lot into Bubbling Brook. I can't mm -hmm. wait. I can't wait for the two for Hype Street purely because I can't wait for uh, training nights to no longer be over Discord for Avi to just kick in our front door and be like, "All right, bitch." Haha! <laughs> <laughs> this guess what? I can hold you personally, physically accountable now. I didn't. By the way, damn. I don't know what you're talking about. By the about. way, I have to let you know. Um, I did put. The Sanji back on the fridge because we got a new fridge. <laughs> she she did not leave our, our fridge after you left. The other ones got taken down, but the one on the fireplace, the one in our dining room, that's the trading card, the one on the bathroom door, and the other one on the fridge were uh are we still there. Rid of them. Hell yeah. So Oh, <laughs> There's just no reason I to. to! I had to put him back. It's so good. The Vashwood one is so good. I forgot that I put that one up. It's incredible. We have a fridge now that actually has magnets on the front that can take... And keeps things Hooray. cold. I forgot what having a working refrigerator was like. You hey, don't now I can be down there and not almost throw up smell. Man. Are the okay? Oh God, dude. I need to. Hmm? I need to ask you another uh, Dragon Ball related question. Oh. <gasps> um. <laughs> yeah. What is... What is... Uh... Whis? Whis is an angel. Okay, so they are their own species. They are angels. Yeah. The destroyer kind of guys can be anybody. Yeah, but the angels... We were talking about this the other day. Is the angels are their own race, right? Yes, they are a race of angels. The problem is that an angel need to have a destroyer god with them or else they go dormant oh they just like they just go eep they they, they get very eepy um why do they get eepy yeah, without a destroyer yeah because angels are like remarkably fucked up in terms of how strong they are <laughs> like remarkably but then Whis doesn't just- he doesn't just really do anything, he just stands there, which I think is the funniest thing Yeah, the thing problem is that- Excuse you! The problem is that- well, okay, he does do one thing one time when Frieza blows up Earth, uh, and literally wins Resurrection F, uh, Whis turns back time three minutes and Goku wins. Um, but the, pro the reason why that, that Whis doesn't do anything is because the angels by, uh, like, I guess by- deity law um aren't allowed to participate in duels of good and evil and this is shown in the manga when maris who was an angel who became a cop uh i know hilarious shows up and uh fights for real in a fight using his angel powers uh and then vanishes from existence uh, also i think everyone's Forgetting the most crucial thing Whis does. Eat. No, I was going to say be incredibly fruity, but sure. Uh, pet that's, pussy. I mean, that's that's implied. Now, I've only seen Whis in Dragon Ball S Broly. So I've only seen him in yeah. the movie. So he's just there to tag yeah. along and hang out. So like, okay. when I and, say that and, he doesn't and... do anything, I don't say that with any derision. I like Whis. Also, I was about to yeah, say, yeah, and Whis also, Whis also has a sister named Vados. And Goku got her pregnant in all the fan fiction. <laughs> I was so, waiting for the rest of that sentence because I was like, what? To 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 be fair, <laughs> say no way. Be, There's to, no to, way that would be canon. I was like, to be fair, to be fair, I fuck Goku. <laughs> I, Goku's too stupid to cheat on Chi Chi. He is, and it's why I won it, because I have respect for him and his marriage. But if both oh. if both parties allowed me, 
I fought Goku. Because Goku there's fought. There's also a great, there's Make also a great bit it. where, um, fucking, they're gonna go off to go fight in the Tournament of Power, and, uh, Vegeta's like, I'm not fucking going to that, what are you kidding me? I, I have to stay here, Bulma's pregnant, she's gonna fucking have a baby any day now. And Goku says, and I'm shit you not, why is that your problem? <laughs> why is that your problem? And Vegeta's like, are you, wh you are still married. And Goku's like, well, I was dead when Goten was born. <laughs> and then Whis removes the baby. Just yoinks. Yeah, Whis <laughs> delivers the baby. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now you can because go to the tournament. Because that's what you do. Look, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna slander Goku as a bad father or anything. But he's not a good husband. That yeah. is the <laughs> yeah. No, that is the that is the real allegation that I would give to Goku. He is a not good husband. He still thinks marriage is a food. Well, fucking, Look. uh, I liked the video that Plague did, because Plague raised a solid point. Is he's like, Goku's not a bad father, but Goku's also not a good father. Yeah. Goku yeah. is... Goku is... He's, uh... Goku is Goku. Yeah, no, listen. He's your type, apparently. Well, <laughs> I mean... Stupid. He is... He is a dumb man. No, and... no. We have the same taste. We have the same taste in men. It's okay. But uh, hey, no, you're uh, a battery liquor. Don't even start. I was gonna say Bell, uh, Bellfire. Um, um, Honestly, that could be directed at either of them. Uh, listen. Um, no, I know. Ben, I listen. I don't think Danica's above fucking robots, but Ben's a fucking battery liquor. I mean, uh, oh, I thought you okay. like actually takes them out okay, of the like packaging and is like, mmm, delicious. Well, one, I'm glad that Av I I'm glad that Avi at least believes I wouldn't lick batteries, but also, um... No! <laughs> okay, fuck you, um... Uh, no, I do! <laughs> okay, I get it! Um, but, um... Uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever been attracted to a robot, like a fictional robot, but... Uh, the wow. hottest man, the hottest man in all fiction, that in my opinion, has a robotic arm, so that counts for something. Uh, yeah, I know Ben. This is your, I know factually that Ben's a battery liquor. This is your. That's I mean, saying if I had the opportunity to fuck Zenyatta, I'd do it. I'm just saying. This is a. This is your monthly reminder that I want. Which that okay. I want Chai. That I want Chai to lick my batteries anyway. <laughs> um, I need okay. This is the thing well, that just, gets you. Me. Just let me say that. Well, yeah, facts. So, like, here's the thing, right? <laughs> I, of all of the fucking robots, the fact, <laughs> the fact that it's specifically Zenyatta to this day feels insane to me. Robuda. Well, it's also Ramatra now, so. Well, yeah, Ramatra, mm. I, I get. <laughs> You're insane for it, but I get it. But like, dude, I'm look. I look at Zenyatta. Yeah, we cannot introduce him to Screwlum. But like, right? Looks at you. Looks at Zenyatta. Looks back at you. What? What about him? <laughs> I don't. What about it? What's Sexy about him. There's something about a guy who has it all together. I I love that the answer is. Uh. I, I, li I like a man who who who, uh, who understands who they are. Ben, I have put Screwlum in no mic. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> like, I'm. I'm so fucking weird about this shit because it's like, anytime I, I say I would quote unquote fuck something or someone and it's like a robot or a demon or a weird like creature thing, I like, I mean so many things that are not fuck. Yeah. Like, 
Oh yeah, it's like fucking. Oh yeah, would you want to like do blah 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 vagina? No. First of all, <laughs> no. Disgusting. Ew, gross. I don't want to think about what, what. Do you think when I'm being physically intimate with someone, I want to think about dicks and vaginas? Like, what kind of fucking savage okay. barbarian do you think For I am? Like. Breed. Fucking absolutely not. I'm no. I'm not a Neanderthal. I'm programming the sneeze function into my wife as we speak, like a fucking normal person. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Skrulla, <laughs> Ben? On what? On Skrulla. What are your thoughts? I haven't had a chance to look. I'm driving. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I well, I uh, don't worry. I'll I'll make the answer for you. Mm, I'd like to screw him. Done. I, I like. I'm I mean, I'm, I like screw him. I'm getting to a stop sign one second. So far, he's the one member of the goddamn Genius Society that I don't hate. Uh. No. He looks like he All I caught was he looks like he'd Yup. Oh. Sorry, I said uh he looks like he would talk down to me. You know, no. surprisingly he wouldn't. One of one of the fucking only people in the genius society who wouldn't. <laughs> this is a this is a Han Kai Star Rail character. Yep. Yep. God, why is she Wait. looking at me like that? Wait, shit, hold on. I need to look. You mentioned just Han Kai, and then I remember that was a MiHoYo game, and now I'm reminded, and I need to look something up real quick. Did you see you a, check what, it out, Zenless Zen Zender. Actually, it does relate to that because that's the that's the one that's caught me. So, um, are robot fuckers he's... and transformer fuckers the same or different? Uh, I'm no, gonna please. answer. I'm gonna answer your question with another question. Oh. Are transformers robots? Oh, if yes, oh. then yes. Then. Oh God! Oh shit! No, wait! I forgot Billy exists. Shit! It's like asking if dumb men. Wow, are that was. Men. I know. But there are like, specific I types know. that are different with both. No, they're both robots. You're a battery licker. <laughs> <laughs> there's I, also like <clears throat> there's also something to recognize that like transformers they 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 do not reproduce like the mammals do yes they do okay? they 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 come out of us no yes they do yes However, they do no that's wrong i know it's wrong lyo showed it to me yes they do <laughs> They can also reproduce sexually, which is wild that it's a, that that that's in canon. They can either do it the asexual way or the sexual way. Or they can fuck. Yeah. Listen, human Megatron is hot, but then he becomes a robot and is no longer sexy anymore. Oh, they can get speaking of like Overwatch and print. Why are you using battery liquor as an insult? It sure as shit isn't a compliment! Okay, okay, but <laughs> Keaton, Keaton, how do you feel about, like, okay, when I say robo-porn, I don't mean robots fucking. Okay. I mean, like, complicated cockpit openings, yeah, yeah. and, like, fucking cool weaponry and, like, air vents and shit. Right. Like, that, yeah. that's, that, that's cool. that. That shit's hot. That shit's good shit. Yeah, that shit's that, that, Like, it's funny, because to me, that is actually legitimately more hot, technically, than, like, actual robot pornography. So true. Yeah. And, like, awesome. Megatron. Alright. Oh, obviously. Speaking of, uh, uh, yeah. No, everybody, shut up! I'm ending stream! <laughs> okay. Alright, we're raiding into Crafty. I uh, the oh. rest of the week is still gonna be art fight. It's gonna be art fight until the end of art fight. 
This, this is all you get. I'm sorry for the. I'm I'm sorry you're not getting anything else. Uh, there's on the VOD channel. There is the first episode of Brooke and I playing Ace Attorney. Those will be every Monday. Uh, on the regular YouTube channel, there is uh, the the next Yap session is out. If you want to go watch that. Um. Fucking new session of Star Wars game came out. New session of Star Wars game came out, and uh, this week is more uh, Curse of the Haunted Herald. So I'll be doing that over on Crafty's channel on Sunday. But for now, I'm going to send you over to Crafty. Goodbye. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Let me know when you're off stream.